Hello everybody and welcome back to the custom character showcase. This time we are testing out Samzel. This is the OG, the original, the very first melee character. This character existed in modding before the Forgotten even existed and he has of course been nicely updated for Repentance. Got some interesting stuff. Of course he uh, has this scythe that he runs around with. Also, as you can see in the bottom right, we have a pocket active, but not just a pocket active. It's a pocket active that charges based on damage. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it gives us invincibility and fire rate for a short time. So we're going to pop that now. Yeah, it, it actually gives us flight as well. So it turns into like a specter that we can uh, sort of take advantage of. The manuscript gives a half soul heart each time you use a card or rune. That's a very, very good effect. In fact, I'm just going to take the half soul heart right now. Um, yeah, that's going to be pretty, a pretty good one for us. But yeah, we're probably going to want to use this whenever there's a lot of enemies or we're going to need to do a lot of damage. So like bosses, we're probably going to end up getting hit. We can also throw our scythe, of course, um, a la the same way that... The Forgotten can throw his burn. Just to make sure you don't get soft locked in certain rooms. They have that ability, which is rather nice. It's not super strong. The, the melee swing is always going to be preferable. And we'll probably be sticking to the melee swing. But yeah, it's super cool to um, be able to play this character again after so long. I'm going to see if he can reveal this for me. Thank you. And we get ourselves a counterfeit penny, which isn't the best. But it's a decent enough trinket. As you can see as well, kind of like the Forgotten, the melee swing is strong. This character has some power behind him. Uh, if I would stop walking directly into things, that would probably help. But we can uh, wait for this guy to pop up and then Malak. Unfortunately, Malak isn't going to be very uh, very useful here. Malak Mot, I believe it's called. It's going to be super useful. And also, this is like the worst version of Pin for us to fight. <laughs> but yeah, because we're going to be knocking him around a lot. But we are going to be doing a significant amount of damage nonetheless, so we don't mind too much. There you go. Um, I don't think we can pick up Red Heart, Red Health. We do get a fire rate up. And do you know what? Why not go to the alt path? I'm not really sure if shot speed does anything for us other than increasing the speed at which we throw our scythe. But we'll have to see. One thing with this character, with the update to Repentance, he does have quite a few pretty cool and unique synergies um, that I'm... Very, very interested to see if we can get things like Brimstone and Tech give us not only gameplay changes, but visual changes to the scythe that we wield, which uh, I think is pretty cool. So I'm hoping we can get uh, at least one or two of those along the way. There's there's quite quite a good few of them, so... So we've got to be careful, because Malik Mott does not last very long. The, the spectral effect, the ability... Whoa, what the hell? The ability for us to um, go through enemies is a short-lived effect. A uh, little Doppler will take random. Speedball, okay. Speed up is actually pretty good as this guy. Um, but yeah, we want to be careful. We definitely want to be careful. Fire rate is definitely proving to be useful already. And the speedball is going to be nice for just getting around. I think we get a speed up while we're in Malak Mot, but also just having extra base speed is going to make it even better. You've walked directly into the fire, little skitter. Strange, uh, strange way of playing out this, but... You do you, I guess. Do you know what? I'm going to use a bomb here. Ah, hope for the best, but did not succeed. We can use Malik Mott as well for the invincibility to, like, get ourselves inside of uh, the cash room. But do remember, we won't be able to get out. I don't think it lasts through rooms, if I'm correct on that. Oh, God. I need to get used to the, um, the range and sort of way of using the swing. It's a little different. Okay, maybe you don't get flight. I thought I, thought I had flight, but obviously not. Okay. Slightly harder boss here for us. A boss that really doesn't fare well with close range combat. We're going to have to play this a little safe. Okay. There you go. We can get a good few swings in, but we got to kind of wait it out after that. You do you, and then we can we can Malak Mot here as well. Let him get a bit closer, and then just fucking wail on him. Yeah, we don't actually have flight while in Malak. I thought we did. Okay, got a HP up. That's nice. And a fire rate up as well. I think the fire rate is really popping off right now. Health is in a little bit of a dire spot. It's not the best, but going down par has proven pretty useful for us so far. Okay, I kind of forgot these guys were the explosive dudes. Really nearly fucked that up. 
I think I'm just gonna do do with the throws for these dudes because I I don't know if range affects um, Samsel here, but I'm I I feel like it probably doesn't. Ooh, okay. Uh, bedside queen, of course, is just spawn a bunch of keys and we get a half soul heart. Um, and then the devil will just use in the next room. Got to remember that half soul heart that we're going to be getting each time we pop one of these, because it's going to be pretty valuable. In fact, we might want to leave that and pop it in the boss fight. Oh, what the hell? I've not had that before. We got the poop from a. Uh, we got the poop from a bucket. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I, I know it can happen, but I don't think I've ever actually seen it happen. That's pretty good. I guess not the best, but free poop, free item. Can't complain. Ooh, fire lasers towards where you are walking. That sounds pretty useful. That sounds pretty useful. It's nice with the breaking the poops as well. Okay, we got the enemy Henrys. Be careful. They are not very easy. Why are you popping up? Okay, I got him. Okay, keep on moving. Don't think we're going to continue down the alt path. I just wanted to go to the downpour here. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to use Malak here. I think uh, Tech tech uh, Pi, Tech 3.14, is going to be real good for us, I think. Because we're going to be walking towards enemies a lot. So it's just kind of extra free damage. Um, don't think the shop's really the way right now. Although we do have a lot of keys, so we might as well check it. Yeah, because we might be able to buy that Soul Heart exactly as we did. Okay, just remember these guys dash twice. I always forget that. Okay, good. Yes, this 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 tech laser is doing us good, and then we can pop that to get a bit of da damage up in here, which actually gives us a new scythe color. If you look at that, that was a bit strange. We kind of got his tail stuck. I don't know you could do that. Okay, we got him. That was a really easy kill for us. Actually, did get an angel deal and a HP up, which is going to be pretty nice. Let's have a little look see. Ooh. Okay, we gotta take Godhead. <laughs> oh! It does have a synergy. I was not expecting that. I was I was expecting it to just give us the aura on this, but we seem to have like a monstrous aura upon swinging, which seems very interesting. Okay. And now we also have Herming as well from Godhead itself, but this is a. Uh, Interesting. Oh, dude. Herming with tech out, uh, tech uh, pi or tech 3.14 is insane. <laughs> this is such a good run. I love that visual effect. Very interesting. <laughs> oh my god. This is um, quite the spice we've got going on right now. Oh, did get hit there. But yeah, we want to be trying to find as many key, uh, as many um, cards as we can to keep our health going from the manuscripts. We'll see how useful that ends up being. I'm not actually quite sure yet. I've, n I've never really gotten, gotten to use the manuscripts throughout a full run. Like, I've never had it so early, so it's never really mattered. But this time, it's actually going to be quite integral to keeping our HP flowing. Oh my god, this is insane. We have such a good setup right now. All we need now is, like, normal technology to get the tech version of our uh, site, and I'll be so happy. Okay, that is a reflected coin. I don't think we want to deal with that. We could actually uh, Malak Mot to get that. I don't know if that's necessary. I did Malak Mot there by accident. It was not necessary. Good, good. We can go and fight the boss straight away here and then come back for our item room. Oh my god, this is great. So yeah, it's kind of... The Godhead is kind of like having monstrance upon upon firing. Which is interesting. Another speed up is fantastic for us here. I am liking this setup. I am liking it a lot. This is very nice. Would be nice if we got some keys eventually. Uh, bombs eventually though. We've not really been getting any bombs this run. Which is surprising. Yeah, we can use Malik Mot to get that, but I don't think we need it. Oh my god, sometimes the, the, the tech laser just takes over the room and kills everything. This time we're getting... Okay, there's some bombs. Do you know what? I'll even bank on a magic mush. Sadly, not. We did get a luck penny here. That's good. Um, don't think there's much else we need to see this floor. Although, do you know what? I might as well go to the shop. 
I might as well. 4.5 volt, I'd kind of like that, so I'm gonna grab it. Do you gotta remember, Tech, uh, tech Pi, Tech 3.14, is a pain in the ass for placing bombs. It always trips me up. Right, can we find a secret room here? Do we have an inkling? I would guess here right now. Yeah, we want to be facing the laser away. It's just such a pain. Okay. Oh, hello. We got the uh, bombing yourself while in the shop has a 20% chance of removing prices of a random item. Eh, it's... Do you, do you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. It's decent. It could be useful. I don't think I'll use it that much, but hey her. But yeah, now now damage um, the 4.5 volt damaging thing for our Malak Mot is also on all of our other actives too. I mean, the poop isn't exactly the best uh, example of that effect, but that's what we've got for right now. We shall keep pushing forward. I doubt I'm going to need to end up using Malik Mot all that often. Hey, there's a card, two of pentacles. I like that. Yeah, so we're just going to be popping the poop like absolute crazy. We're going to be popping it all the time. Hey, another soul heart. Health is looking healthy, is what I'll say. Activate your activate item upon taking damage. Do you know what? I'm going to try that just because it might, it might, I don't know if it will, it might activate Malak Mot as well. And I think activating Malak Mot upon taking damage if it's charged is actually a very interesting idea. Like that would make it very useful. God damn. This, <laughs> this run is so good. This run is on fire. Oh, hell yes, we want starter deck. We really want starter deck. Let's see if we can manage to afford that. That would be super good for us, because basically, we would get so many more cards. I'm glad that, that this is allowing us to have the range that we need to do every, everything. Oh, we got Jello here. Um, I've never really used Jello before, and it does auto aim now, and it's the poop isn't very good, so maybe we'll try it out. I mean, it does have Godhead, and it auto aims, so do you know what? I'm gonna say, pretty good, pretty good. And actually, with 4.5 volt as well, we're gonna be getting it relatively often. I, I just saw a tinted rock in this last room here as, as we left. Don't push my bomb away. Good, good. Right. Health is looking just so good right now. No, thank you. This room's a bit scary. There's a card. Lose all of your keys. Spawn a number. At least 12 keys is needed for a trinket. I don't really want to lose all my keys right now. Oh, god damn. This is pretty interesting. Oh my god, we can use it multiple times per room. I kind of forgot about that. Look at him with his little god head. And we got pentagram here. Jar of wisps, the Jar of wisps, the Oh. Nah, because with... I, I like the idea of jar of wisps. But with 4.5 volt, I can imagine it not actually being very good. Okay. You have been stopped. Right, let's make our way back. Oh my god, this is this is a very intriguing run. <laughs> we don't even have any of Samsel's true synergies. I suppose actually Godhead is one of them, but we don't have any Scythe synergies. Um, and yet this run is still absolutely popping off. Really hoping we can get this last few uh, last few bits of coinage that we need. Only need three more coins. Hopefully these last few rooms provide. Oh, has all. Nah, that sounds interesting, but I kind of know from experience that isn't that good because it has Curse Penny in it. If it didn't have Curse Penny in it, I'd take it in a heartbeat. 
But it has Chaos Penny in it, so no thank you. Ooh, we got a library. Wasn't expecting that. Now this could be interesting. Is there anything we want to take from this library? While I do think Book of Revelations is a great take, I'm not going to. I think Jello is just too interesting. Bookworm? I don't know how Bookworm will exactly work with our scythe, but I will take it. Sadly, not much money around. I, I, I'll try these out and see if these give us the money. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's terrible. Okay, Tinted Rock here. Another Spirit Heart. Let's go to the Cash Room as well. We could Malik Mott to get out easier. Um, Soul of Lazarus. No, thank you. I'll end up using it by accident. I've done it plenty of times before. If you have Pocket Actives and Soul of Lazarus, you're not in for a good time. You're just not. Right, I'm trying to think of where we could possibly gain this money. We're one penny off. Okay, okay. It's certainly plausible now. We've just got to find the way to do it. Come on. There's got to be something for us. There it is. Temperance. Hello. We did it. Through all odds, we did it. I think starter deck's going to be super good for us. Of course, all our pills will turn to cards. So that means that we're going to get just a ton more soul hearts. The sun. The sun. Right. Do I want to go back for this pill? Okay, actually, yes, I do. Because my secret room's over here. There's a pill over here that will obviously be turning into a card once we enter the room. Ooh, also, more pills appear, which actually means more cards appear. This is a good synergy. I like it. Do I want to... I'm kind of tempted to pay into you. Another sun. Here comes the sun. We might as well at least play the blood bank before we pop this sun card. But we have uh, quite a lot of intriguing synergies working in tandem here. Got the Godhead tech, um, tech pie thing going on. Got the Jello 4.5 volt thing going on. Got the manuscript starter deck safety cap thing going on. Like, we've, we've got like multiple different unique synergies all working in tandem. All of which don't really cross among each other. They're all their own things. Very interesting. I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> it all it is all amounting to a very, very powerful run. Um, and a very enjoyable run as well. Like, just being able to pop Jello, like, all the time. And Jello now has, um, what's its, what's its name? Um, 2020. Not 2020, you know what I mean. Um, Bookworm. Get him, Jello. Get him. Yes, there's that. Just some battery charges. Don't think that's really going to do much for us. I forgot to play the blood bank. I completely forgot to play the blood bank. Do you know what? We might as well go in here. Um, so we might as well pop the world card. And I forgot we can actually now hold two of these too. We've got the sun for later if we need it. The soul of Samson is kind of interesting on this character. Quite, uh, quite fitting, wouldn't you say? Oh, you've got to be kidding me with the bombs. Yeah, you fucker. It just moves your bombs in such awkward ways. Why? Why you got to do this to me? It's such a troll. Okay. What we got going on here? Ow. Kind of hurt. What the fuck? Rerolls all runes into soul stones. If we could hold two trinkets... No. I really wanted tech two. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Although... Yes. Our laser destroys rocks. Okay. That, that, do you know what? I can, I can accept... I can accept that as an even trade, but... I really wanted Tech 2, because I'm pretty sure Tech 2 has its own synergy.
At least we can get into the secret room easily now. There's that. My god. And we got flight. Nice. We kind of needed flight, so I'm happy with that. Can we destroy the, this guy? No, we can't. Okay, well this, I don't know, I don't know what would have been better, Tech 2 or this, because this is interesting. I would want to use a scratch card for a soul heart, but they, they, at the minute they haven't been patched yet and they can crash your game, so I'm just not going to bother. That update is coming soon, but at the minute it is, it is not here yet. It's a hermit. Oh, now we can get this too. Pyrophon. We'll probably keep that. Lovers, we can pop that. Hangman, we can pop that. Hierophant and the Sun with Malak Mott seems good to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Just absolute domination in this run. I love it. Gotta love a bit of domination. Right, see if we can find our second secret room. I mean, I, f I, I have a fair, like, feeling that we're going to end up finding it accidentally anyways. I don't know where it'll be, but I can imagine it's on this back wall here. Really? It's not? What the heck? It's oh, I just traded my hero font card by accident. I'm stupid. Um, Yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh my god, Malik Mott plus this is pretty incredible. Oh my god, I'm loving this. Okay, we will definitely be doing boss rush just because of the amount of jellos we're going to amass. It's going to be quite insane. Okay, we got some interesting stuff here. Right, we got triple shot, obviously insane. Laser rings around your shots. Now, that sounds real cool, but I doubt it's going to work. So I'm just going to take triple. Because yeah, I doubt that's going to work. The triple scythe is enough for me. Oh, and our babies do triple too, which is pretty good. Yeah, we're going to amass quite the army of triple shot babies here. To the point where I, I think by like wave six, it's going to be upset. Because the thing is as well, we're not charging per wave. We are charging per damage dealt. <laughs> Which is going to lead to some craziness. Like, have you seen how quickly we're amassing the charges? We've got an Eternal Heart there as well. Why not? It literally won't even let me use another one. <laughs> like, I think I've... I think I've, like, reached the cap. It will not physically let me use it again. Like, look at this. I'm spamming the hell out of it. And it's like, nope. There you go. It used it. Oh my god. Oh, this is perfect. I have the tech laser out the back and the babies out the front. Just chill. Remember, the babies auto aim too. Like, we don't even have to worry about them firing. They auto aim. Well, this has been uh, a, a huge joy. A huge joy. I am liking this very much, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> if we had piercing as well, this would be, like, insane. It's already insane, but piercing would bring it over the top. Every time I fire, I get a massive like spike. Beautiful. Let's go down. I, I was really tempted to take the, the tech ring around our shots, but I just don't think it would work because we don't fire shots. It would work on our Jello, of course, but I think triple shot is more interesting for our scythes, because as you can see, we're now holding three scythes. I think it's slightly more uh, tantalizing. What up, babies? How you be living, little fellas? Yeah, because of Godhead Aura as well, the damage we deal, the output of it, it just leads to so many more charges. Okay, so we got King of Spades, lose all your keys again. All enemies lose their turn. Doubles our blue flies. Strength. I'll just take a strength card. I'm, I'm good with that. Another card. 
I love this card synergy we've got going on. It's really fun. All right, what we got here? Two pentacles. Two of pentacles. <laughs> Double our one fly to two again. Come on, little fellas. I'm really hoping we make Hush. I'm pretty sure we will. We made good time on Boss Rush. Because I think Hush will be quite fun. Good, good. Uh, what card have we got here? Emperor? Yep, hell yep. We'll be taking that. Didn't even need to spawn our Jellos this time. Creatine is great for us here. Pretty big damage up. Eye of the Occult is also pretty great for us here. I will take. I wonder if it has any special... Ooh, that's pretty nice. Being able to, like, move those around. And it's given us a purple scythe now, which is pretty awesome looking. And also, it'll be pretty good in our babies, I think. I've got to try it out, actually. Okay, mapping's going to be nice here. A secret room that we can physically not enter. Although, we could just do this. I'm stupid. I forgot we had that. Breed's gullet. Why not? Right. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, what the hell was that noise? That was spooky. That kind of scared me. Another, we're just... The amount of cards we're getting right now is absurd. I kind of love it. Bye, baby plum. I'm sorry. Okay. Ow. Got hit a few times there, but it's all good. Push fight. We are coming to you. You shall be bested, little hushy. We got plenty of keys as well. Helps out. That's a lot of cards again. I mean, I'm pretty sure a full card just teleports us to this room. That might be a decent idea. Hanged man. Death. Strength. I think strength card is the one we pop in the fight. Uh, I don't think any of these really cut it for us. There's our crawl space. I mean, so, but maybe the sneeze is going to be good. I don't actually know. Ooh, consolation prize. That'll be fire rate. Yes, indeed it will. Kind of needed that. I think this might be good because we're double tapping a lot. Chance to fire uh, for pinball tiers. Pinball tiers have uh, damage multiplier. They increase the molly bounce. I know that it might not work, but I kind of feel like I've got to take this. Okay. Right. Strength card. We're good to go. I'll pay into you because I'm not going to really use my money for anything else after this point. Go, fella. Take all my money. I don't think that even works with what we've got going on right now, but there you go. Right. Strength card, Jello. Um. Oh, it's because I've got to hold it and then fire. Like, I've got to press it, then fire. That's why it wouldn't let me do it before. I understand now. Okay, yeah, the pinball tiers are working. Pinball tiers are working here. That's why. I did not know that. I can't just tap, fire, uh, tap space to, to activate. This is uh, a little absurd. Oh my god, it it filled them all with a brimstone rage. I I kind of forgot about that as a as a like concept. It's kind of funny that we have two different characters' unique ability: tainted Azazel's sneeze and tainted Lilith's um, fetus baby, and we're neither character. In fact, we're not any character. We're like a custom character. I find that funny. Really not having a good time of it, are you, Hushy? Really not having a good time of it, are we? 
Who is my little hushy? Who is my little hushy, hushy, hushy? I'm hearing the pinball tears go every now and again. I know that it wasn't defensively as strong as Botfly, but like, come on now. Yeah, you're, you're so fucked, dude. <laughs> Look at how many tears we fire. Anyways, let's go do the void, because we can. <laughs> I wasn't actually thinking of doing it, but then that has proven that we definitely can. Imagine if it was just him straight away. Gotta remember, Malakmot gives us invincibility. We can run right into the enemy. Ooh, growth hormones for more damage. That gives us a thicker, juicier tech laser as well. I'm actually really liking the sneeze combination here. With the godhead R and everything. It's good stuff. of cups. Ow. Don't really worry about getting hit all that much, because we're gonna get Dormimic. I don't know why, but Dormimic's on the void um, are, like, the wrong door. So it's super easy to see them. Justice. Justice. Did I seriously get double troll bomb? Double Troll Bomb from two Justices, and it was Mega Troll Bombs too. Oh, we got Golden Golden Horseshoe. <laughs> uh, we got the Belly Button here, which lets us carry an additional trinket. Burn Meal. At the start of every new floor, grants extra damage, size up, both sides from damage up, stay if the trinket is dropped. Uh, unfortunately, not very good. I guess we just take this. God damn, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Okay, we dropped a card in that room to check what that is. Oh my god, that's a lot of boys. Yeah, let me go back. Uh, Magician doesn't really do anything for us apart from the uh, soul heart. The sun, we got double sun card now. I think that's pretty good. Oh my god. I like. I just like the fact that in regular rooms... We barely use the scythe, and in boss rooms, we just use cello. <laughs> we just created this crazy run. Where, as well, not only this, but we have basically unlimited HP coming our way. From all of the cards that we're getting. We just keep getting cards that just give us another half soul heart. Good, good. I'm not even using Jello in most normal rooms because the room's just over before I can. Get out of here. Beautiful. Rubik's Cube. Nah. If it's solved on the first try, then I'd, I'd use it. It lets us reroll items into any item pool, which honestly isn't that useful late in a run, to be honest, especially on the void where. Item from bosses can be from any item pool anyways. Oh my god. Just the damage we can deal here is absurd. I'm loving it. Just, the thing is as well, I'm like running into enemies so recklessly. But I just don't have to care. That's Malak. I need to remember to Malak a little more. I'm not really doing it very often. It's very useful. Just not even for the fire rate. Just for the invincibility to be able to get in there. Do a cups again. Another card. That's a really cool looking champion. I don't know why I like that so much. Oh no, we got a game crash. One moment. Okay, we are back in it. Just wait a second for the game to reconnect. But I think we should be able to continue this run. We just might have to redo some of the void. Indeed we do, but 
Really? Does that matter? We need to go do this again for growth hormones once more. But we found a secret room this time as well, which we didn't find last time. That's good. There you go. And then we'll get growth hormones again here. Yeah. So I don't know if that room is always going to crash us or what. You never really know. Good stuff. The Emperor. Do you know what? Just pop the Emperor. Let's see what, let's see what happens. Okay, it did take us to Delirium. Okay, good. I do not have a problem with that. I do, however, have a problem with Mum's foot stomping on me immediately in a very bullshit way. Okay. God damn, Malak charges so fast. I don't know if it's because we have 4.5 volt or just because of the sheer amount of damage that we're doing. But my god, does it charge fast. Like, we can basically have near permanent uptime on Malak. It's awesome. Like, I'm just getting in there straight away and fucking him up again. And the fact that our Jello babies chase us and we got homing on them as well. Makes them nigh unbeatable. Hey, fella. How you doing? <laughs> Well, that was the easiest delirium kill of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed Samzel here. He's uh, pretty he's pretty good. <laughs> this, uh, this run kind of got out of hand, didn't it? We had some really interesting synergies here. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this showcase of Samzel, a very cool character. And I'll see you guys in the next one.